Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and just show you how I clean my engagement and wedding rings um, and really any of my other gold jewelry. Uh, before I start, I do want to say that um, many of you are probably looking up how to disinfect your jewelry um, given the current global pandemic that's happening. Um, I don't know enough about disinfecting to really give you any kind of um, responsible advice on that, so I would really recommend that you check out uh, the World Health Organization and CDC guidelines on how to disinfect your stuff yourself. But this, this tutorial is really just how I clean my rings so that they sparkle and shine just like the day that I got them. So I think it's important for me to tell you a little bit about my rings, to tell you, to kind of explain to you why I do what I do and why I'm a little careful with the products that I use. So I have, um, my center stone is a tourmaline. Tourmaline is a bit softer of a stone, but it's not really that soft. Um, it's not like it can be scratched by steel or anything, um, but it is a colored stone. And a lot of colored stones, um, gemstones, are treated with heat to enhance the color and make them more vibrant and brighter. Um, so I am very careful not to expose my ring and my center stone to heat because I don't know if my center stone was heat treated or not. Um, and the other detail about my stone, or my ring, is that it is set in 18 karat yellow gold, and that is a relatively soft material, so I'm not using anything abrasive at all. I'm not putting this in, um, like, a metal bowl or anything like that, um, so I'm being pretty careful on not wanting to scratch the gold. And the final thing is that um, my ring has a diamond halo, and I do believe those are shared prong settings, so I am a little bit careful and I don't use something like an ultrasonic cleaner because I don't want to like knock any of those stones out or, you know, really damage the setting in any way. So I am pretty careful with how I clean this ring and I try to use very gentle products because of that. So the products that I use are all kind of shown here. Uh, the first most important thing is distilled water. Um, you can buy this at your grocery store for like 99 cents. It's important to use distilled water versus just like regular tap water because regular tap water has things like minerals and sediments in it. And if that water dries on your ring um, or on your center stone, it will create water spots that will kind of impede this whole sparkly, beautiful look that we're going for. Uh, the other important thing is dish soap. Um, I use Dawn dish soap. Really any dish soap would work as long as it doesn't have like a lotion in it or anything that's making it um, kind of, you know, greasy or anything like that. Um, and then the other things that I have here are um, just a plastic cup and I'm just going to put the ring and water in there to keep it like on my counter so that I don't accidentally like spill it in the sink or something. Uh, a soft toothbrush, the softest one you can find, and this is particularly important if you have um, a higher carat gold because you don't want to accidentally scratch your gold. Um, a paper towel, uh, and then a microfiber cloth. Uh, this microfiber cloth is just an eyeglasses cloth that I got from Zenny with one of my glasses. Um, and finally, a blow dryer, which you can use to dry off your ring. So um, the first step to cleaning the ring is just to pour a little bit of water in the plastic cup. Just, you know, not too much. You don't need to waste all of your distilled water. And then you're going to put um, a little bit of dish soap in the water. Okay, so I have some dish soap in the water. I probably put a little bit too much, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so then I'm just going to take my toothbrush and I'm going to swirl it around so that I create this, like, nice sudsy mixture. All right. So then I'm just going to drop the rings in and I'm going to let them soak for, um, I don't know, a couple minutes. Probably doesn't need to be that long, but I usually let them soak for like two or three minutes. And one thing I do want to note is that um, when I do do this soaking process, I'm usually pretty far away from a sink. I don't want to accidentally knock this over and have my ring go down the drain. Uh, so I usually do this like way over in my kitchen by the stove or something. Um, just, you know, out of an abundance of caution. Okay, so my rings have been soaking for a couple minutes, so I'm just going to pull one of them out. I usually try to scoop it out with the toothbrush. I don't think it really matters. I just don't like getting my whole hand wet. Um, so I'm going to take the ring, and I'm going to scrub it with the toothbrush. So I'm going to scrub the, the top of the center stone, and then I'm also going to get behind the stone and behind those prongs, really try to work the bristles like behind the prongs um, to get the back of the stone clean. It's hard to do when I'm trying to look at a camera. There we go. See, like get it behind those stones. Okay. 
and then just do a light scrub of the gold and then I will drop that back in and then I will do the same with the wedding band obviously my wedding band doesn't have stones but if yours did you would want to do kind of a thorough scrub of all the prongs and stuff drop that back in um, so now I'm gonna let that sit for another couple minutes so that any debris that I have like pulled up by doing that scrubbing process can have time to soak and kind of come off of the stone itself too. Okay, so now I'm going to take the ring out again and just give it another little scrub um, to get any other grease spots or debris off of it. Um, just get really behind that stone. Um, and I, like I'm wiggling the toothbrush so that it can kind of work its way behind my cathedral setting there but I do have a pretty high setting um, so there's room for me to work this toothbrush kind of into my setting. So once I've done that second scrub then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to my sink. Okay so now I'm at the sink and I'm just going to um, pull the rings out of the cup again. Again you can use your fingers for this I just don't like to get my hands super dirty. I'll just do another scrub over the sink really fast and then I just take so I'm going to put the ring on my fingers so that it doesn't like accidentally slip off. And you'll notice that I am using the part of my sink that has the strainer in it so that even if I did drop the ring, it wouldn't go down the drain. Um, and then I'm just going to pour some water over the ring to try to get all of that soap off of it. And I just do this until it doesn't feel slippery, doesn't feel soapy. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel, I will pat this dry, and I'm going to leave the ring, um, I'll just set the ring on the counter over there, um, away from the sink to just be out of the way. And I will do the same with my engagement ring, do another quick scrub, and then I'm going to just try to get all that soap suds off the ring. I'm really concentrating obviously on the back since that's where I put a lot of my effort in cleaning the stone, behind the stone. And then again, I'm just going to dab this off with a paper towel and um, set it to dry. Okay, so I have my two rings here drying, um, so I'm going to just dry them off. And now here's where you can use um, your, your blow dryer. So a blow dryer is nice because it can be a way to get some of the water off of your ring. This is especially useful if you don't use distilled water because you can avoid the creation of, um, of water spots on your ring. So you just, you know, take the ring and just do a quick blow dry. Um, obviously be careful because as you blow dry your metal, it will get hot. So eventually you can burn yourself if you're not careful. And I'm going to do the same to um, my engagement ring, but I'm going to be really careful not to leave heat on there for more than like 10 seconds because like I said, colored stones tend to be heat treated and can be sensitive to heat. So I'm actually going to blow it with hot air for, you know, a couple seconds and then use the cool shot on my, um, on my blow dryer to finish the job. Okay, so the final step is just to take my microfiber cloth, do a quick little wipe down of the ring, make sure that I get any water spots or fingerprints off of the ring, and then uh, I would call that good to go. And as usual, it's really hard to show you, but the ring is definitely cleaner and kind of more sparkly than it was when I started. Um, it would probably be better if I had better lighting in the kitchen, but uh, that is basically my process for cleaning my engagement ring. Super simple, super quick. Don't really need anything expensive like an ultrasonic cleaner. Don't need to make a trip to the jeweler or anything like that. Um, and it's kind of good as new. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any different methods for how you clean your ring or if you have any questions. And I will see you next time. Bye.